This is an overview of an article entitled Nocturnal Atrial Fibrillation Caused by Mutation in KCND2, Encoding Port Forming Alpha Subunit of the Cardiac KV4.2 Potassium Channel. Published in the November 2018 issue of Circulation, Genomic, and Precision Medicine. Atrial fibrillation, or AF, was the most prevalent cardiac arrhythmia in clinical practice. AF often initially presents as transient episodes, clinically referred to as paroxysmal AF, or PAF, usually self-terminating within less than a week. Diurnal variation in the timing of PAF events has been clearly demonstrated, with peak incidence at nighttime. In most cases, AF occurs later in life as a result of various factors promoting structural and functional remodeling of the atria, including congestive heart failure, coronary artery disease, valvular disease, and hypertension. Conversely, the less common early onset AF is usually independent of additional cardiac comorbidities and shows significant heritability, with disease causing genetic mutations as a prominent underlying cause. In PAF, these are mostly gain of function mutations in potassium channel subunit genes KCNJ2, KCNE1, and KCNH2 which are responsible for repolarizing currents in the atria. With enhanced atrial repolarization, there is increased susceptibility to AF due to the vulnerable arrhythmogenic substrate capable of sustaining multiple circuit reentry. In the paper under discussion, the authors studied a three-generation family of Jewish-Persian descent who presented with autosomal dominant early onset PAF affecting nine family members. The age at onset of symptoms ranged from 22 to 50 years. In all affected individuals, PAF presented as recurrent self-terminating palpitations that were predominantly nocturnal. The authors used a combination of linkage analysis and the exome sequencing to ascertain a genetic cause of the family's condition. They then employed electrophysiology studies in xenopus oocytes to study a candidate causal mutation and provide evidence that the mutation was, in fact, the cause of the affected family member's PAF. Here's the pedigree of the family. Also shown is an electrocardiogram from one of the affected family members, documenting atrial fibrillation. The genetic analyses identified a mutation in the KCND2 gene as the likely causal variant. KCND2 encodes the pore forming alpha subunit of the KV4.2 cardiac potassium channel. The KCND2 mutation results in the alteration of serine 447 to arginine. This amino acid position lies in the C terminal domain of the channel. The affected serine is conserved across species, as shown in panel C suggesting that it has an important role and that its alteration will affect the protein's function. These graphs document the effects of the KCND2 mutation on current voltage relationships and time constant of inactivation in xenopus zoocytes in which the KV4.2 cardiac potassium channel has been heterologously expressed. A significant decrease in the rate of inactivation was observed for the mutant channel. When the wild-type and mutant channels were co-expressed, mimicking the heterozygous state, an intermediate inactivation rate was observed. In similar experiments, the authors observed that the mutation had minimal effects on the voltage dependence of inactivation and recovery from inactivation of the channel. It has previously been shown that the protein kinase C, or PKC, activator 4 ball 12 myristate 13 acetate, or PMA, suppresses the KV4.2 currents. Serine 447, the amino acid altered by the mutation, was previously identified as one of two PKC phosphorylation sites that mediate the PKC-dependent attenuation of membrane localization and stabilization of KV4.2. The graph shown here documents the effect of PKC activation by PMA on the peak current in xenopus oocytes 
expressing the wild type or mutant KV4.2 channels, whereas there was a significant reduction of current observed with the wild type channel. In the presence of mutant channel, the current was only mildly affected by PMA. Finally, the authors asked whether the effects of the mutation on the KV4.2 channel are also evident on a hybrid channel created by a combination of KV4.2 and KV4.3. This was achieved by expressing a hybrid channel as a fusion protein linking KV4.2 and KV4.3 without or with the mutation. As shown on the left, there was a small decrease in the rate of inactivation with the mutant hybrid channel. On the right, there was less reduction of current with PKC activation via PMA for the mutant hybrid channel. In conclusion, the early onset nocturnal PAF family's KCND2 mutation alters KV4.2's kinetic properties, impairs its inhibitory regulation by PKC, and exerts gain of function on the KV4.2 channel and KV4.2 KV4.3 hybrid channel. The KCND2 mutation presumably creates arrhythmogenic substrate for nocturnal AF. Thus, targeting KV4.2 might be effective in the treatment of nocturnal PAF. Mm -hmm.